Hello everyone, welcome back to my dwarf campaign. Time for our Dawi word of the day, Barag. Barag means war machine. And we'll talk about lore in a little while, but for now we need to look at where we're going. Grom Brindle's down here, we have united much of our lands and I would like to go after other enemies too. That would be the undead. There's a lot of them to kill. I've got one more grudge to handle. And that will be to take care of the vampire counts with an agent, or I could destroy them. And that will nullify my grudge. Can't have a grudge if they're not even there, huh? Alright, let's go now, Grom Brindle. What about you, Fellhand? You're way up here. You can finally finish off the undead. I've been waiting to do that forever. They've been eluding me, taking all of my prunes, and I will not permit it any longer. Goodbye, Leonard. Dear God, you look like a raisin. Iron Curse Icon. This enchanted item, made from the cannonball that killed infamous necromancer Gabriel Dumort, grants the wielder advantage when facing the missile attacks of war machines. Cool. A new trait gained for a good old fell hand. He's been doing so well. And now we get to go back up to Mount Gunbad. I have another cheap army right by him, but I don't want that entire cheap army with me. I want other agents and other units to help me in battle. So what we can do for now, we can get rid of it. Not your artillery. Not your long shots, I believe those can stay for now. But the rest of that can go away. Yeah. Let's bring you over here to the Pillars of Grungni. Two more turns to go until I have my capital upgrade. I've been waiting to get new units for quite some time now. At level 12, what do you need, my friend? Let's go look at what you have. I'll put another point into Blade Shield. Done. He's now at 89 melee defense. He's a tank, a walking bearded tank at level 10, Dane. I'll put a point into Blade Shield as well. You're at 70 melee defense. No matter who they fight, it'll take a long time to get through their armor. Rock Var, you're okay. I will keep my gold where it's at. I'll need to spend a lot of it for later. For technology, what could I use right now? Autonomy of the Holds. Karaz Ankor states that while all dwarf holds swear fealty to the High King, they are ruled independently. Four turns for that. 15 more growth for my commandment. To me, that sounds wonderful. I feel like that's a great idea. I'll finally be able to get new Thanes, Master Engineers, and all of that. We'll have a lot of new characters, and their backstories will be shared, too, over time. What do you want, Clan Angren? One day we will. The fact that you're so powerful and you want to ally me is a pretty good sign. I mean, that is telling me that we'll be okay. The dwarves were the victors of the War of Vengeance as the High Elves did leave the entirety of the Old World. This was meant to introduce Dwarfin Dominion over the Old World for many years to come, but fate had other plans. The entire Karaza and Kor was beset by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Every dwarf settlement had walls collapsed, mines were shattered and flooded by either water or lava in some cases. The dwarves were left vulnerable to attack from this and this began what is now called the Goblin Wars. There were also Skaven, Ogres, Trolls, and even Chaos Followers too, but by far, the Goblins were in tremendous numbers. Enemies would sneak in through unguarded tunnels, and even new ones would crop up too. They would overwhelm outposts with sheer numbers alone. The usual runic gates that would hold them back Welcome were hanging off their hinges and so forth. King Can I help you? I won't do that. I wonder, could I get you to join me via Confederation? I cannot. You're way too powerful. One day you may change your mind. You won't change it yet. But if you change your mind, I'll be here to take your land and we'll be more powerful for it. Yeah, I doubt that'll ever happen. We'll see, though. If they want to live and help me fight, that is fine. Welcome I won't demand every Valley. faction join me via Confederation. I'll just go conquer elsewhere. I mean, there's a lot of land for me to take. All right. The undead are doing pretty well. Wait, is that a Skaven army? It is, too. I haven't seen them for quite some time. Thagaraki are here. I'm ready to kill them. The migration. I do not want to lose public order. Be gone for now. Imminent rebellion. I nearly forgot. Oh, hello, Crooked Moon. You know what, Grom? I might have you destroy them. You can burn down Achendorf and then move up north. Yeah. We might end up doing that. Let's go back right over here. The Empire's conquered more lands like 
Karak Engajar. That's a shame. That could belong to me, but Karak Hearn had to be a pain for them. They do not get along. Okay, now we have money. We'll return over here for my capital. And then we can upgrade. Here is your Dwarf Tinkerer's shop. We could use walls. We need walls everywhere. Okay, let me look at other locations. Can I afford other things here? I can. Like my Brightstone mine. Oh dear God, it'll give me two groups of Iron Breakers? Incredible. Brightstone is highly valuable. It's therefore a pity that the mines at Mount Gunbad are infested with Night Goblins. Not anymore. 1,500 gold will be added to my treasury per turn. All of my artillery will be much better. We'll have more income from trade. 10% more. I'm so glad we're here. Okay. We need to get back to that fortress quickly now. I don't have any time to wait. Let's go. Oh, man. That's going to be a really tough one, isn't it? That's my garrison looking. I think they'll be okay. What we'll do, we'll pull in another leader. Rungni, you do make buildings cheaper. You're a rune lord. I don't have Ungram yet. Okay. You don't really have a backstory right now, but that is okay. Who can I bring in? I can bring in my peak gate guard. I can bring in my Norgrimling iron breakers. I think I'll take one of you. And it shall be you. Yeah, I don't have a name for you just yet. One day you will. I do have a rune lord. Or do I have a name for you? I believe I do actually. Hold on. Let's go over here and rename you. Alright, Lord Donar. And here is your last name. Gorgrin. I'll have to find out about your backstory. Okay, now while you wait, I think you'll be okay. We're about to have a new rebellion. We're moving up to go help out. The Felhan clan will be there soon. Let's bring you over here. Actually, you can wait at Kraz Akarak. From Bindle, you can wait where you're at, Grom. And Death Pass, what do you need? We have most of what we need. Yeah. A new rebellion. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. The dwarves are an ancient race and can be broken down into ages. The time of the ancestor gods is when the gods walked the earth. Then you had the coming of chaos. That's when Grimnir would vanish and the chaos gate would be closed. The Golden Age is when the Elves and Dwarves would meet for the first time and begin to trade for a period of time. What would end the Golden Age would be the War of Vengeance. After that, you would have the Time of Woes, and that's when many holds would be lost, never to be reclaimed. Then you have where we're at now, the Goblin Wars. And that is the struggle for the Karaz and Kor, and it's fought for over 1,000 years. And all these southern holds fall but one. Then after that, you have the Silver Age. Contact is again made with the race of men, Sigmar goes on to rescue High King Kurgan Ironbeard, and an alliance is formed. Then you have the Chaos Wars. Men were under the dangers of chaos, and they fight together against that big threat. That's really what you need to worry about. They've been here for a very long time, and again, are by far one of my favorite factions. I love their lore, and I love what they're all about. Welcome, friends of the Dawei. A military alliance, we could have that, sure. I don't want it right now. A lot of factions that are more powerful than I am are trying to ally. That's a really good sign. I mean, there is no reason for us to fight, right? There's none. We might as well get along. Greetings, honorable ally. Hello, Krog Zorn. Look at you, still alive. Huh. Yeah, sure, we can share that. There's no reason for you to be up here, but we can share that. Here they come now. Two armies total. I'm still moving up. Gonna be a savage fight. What's up north? Is that another Beastman army? I believe it is. I can't wait for the Chaos Dwarves to be in. That's a whole new grudgeon. Alright. A new grudge issued. I need to go after Ornery Backslider and Huglug. We have a Choir Master gained and a Stone Mason for more money. Should we need it? Look at how much I can upgrade now. I can get a lot more gold if I want it, and I do. That's why I wanted to save my gold, but I ended up spending a lot. <laughs> okay, I can build a Karaz Akrak airfield. I'm going to do that pretty soon. 
or I could hold off. It really depends on what I want to do. I wouldn't mind having a Hall of Oaths. That will let me have hammerers and iron breakers. I've been wanting to get that for quite some time now. I already have my barracks. I do not have my Slayer Shrine. I don't know if I can build everything here. I might not be able to. It's a pretty tough call. Okay, Gromrel Forge. I can upgrade you first. But we shall wait. For now, I'm going to pick up over here my Gem Cutters Guild Hall. The Gem Cutters Guild is rich by the very nature of the commodity in which it deals. Yeah, that'll take a long time, but the more money I have, the better off I am. Vrinka Hills, I'll go after you. Where's my rebellion? I thought we were going to have one down here. I guess we're okay now. Let's come over here to Vrinka Hills. We'll go after Kimler, who's back again. What a shocker. What a shocker. Okay, level 19. I'm going to put a point into... Let me look at it. We won't be fighting the green skins that much. I don't believe you'll need that. More speed wouldn't hurt. These are all okay, but they're not really that great. Instead, I'll put a point into scouting. We could find more magical artifacts to give to other followers of mine. Okay, so we'll have you just wait where you're at right now. Keep your long shots, or I could just get a lot of rangers, but I think I'll have you keep your long shots for now. If I go out to fight, I'm heavily outnumbered. It's a lot of orcs. Oh wow, that is a lot. I could let them fight and defend it on my own. I may just do that. I think they can win on their own. I'm not too sure, but I guess we'll find out. Let's come over here. If they want to move out to fight me, they can, but I'll take care of them. I'll just interject myself right into the middle of it all, and we can end our turn again. Look at that chunk of kingdom that I have. But if you really look at it, the dwarves are doing quite well now. We're beginning to grow, finally. Yeah, I think I'll go destroy the Crooked Moon with Grom Brindle. They're right there. I might as well. Other factions will like me a lot. I'll have to look at who is fighting them right now. Now, is Bretonia all gone, or have I just not encountered all of them yet? I'm not really too sure yet. I'm a little bit nervous to find out. If they're all destroyed, that's a really bad sign. All here. What do you want, a military alliance? I don't know about that. You're not strong enough for that. And we're way too far apart. Don't get me involved in more wars right now. They'll come all the way over here just to attack me. The Ripper Horn Tribe. I believe that was the one attacking the Red Eyes. Yeah, it might be the Varg and Scalings who destroyed them if they are gone. A shameful display. Well, I don't want to lose public order. We'll do that. Make him take an oath. Onward. I can move on or attack who's right by me. It's really up to me. I can get rid of one grudge. Much like that. Easy enough. Goodbye, Gottfried. Now we get more leadership for a few turns. He's a confident attacker. I'm about to go attack them all, I think. Before we go do that, though, let's go look over here. Kimler, you've got to go. You're not that powerful. I mean, you do have a lot of Grave Guard and zombies. Your format isn't too bad for an undead. Good for you. Okay, let's go look over here again. I've got gold. Never enough gold. Okay, I could use a Runesmith for another quest battle that I want to unlock. I think I will take that. Yeah, everything I want to build will take time. Over here, my airport or my airfield will take me over 7,000 gold to build. We could make my buildings cheaper. You know what? We will. We'll take that. And what about over here? We're not really building too much. Let's make more money via our tax rate. And what about over here in Death Pass? We're still growing. But make me more money anyway. Done. Yes. Okay, fell hand. Let's go into combat. Now that is a really big fight. I could fight them all here and now. It wouldn't be pretty or easy, but it would all be over in one go. Okay, let's do it. I normally don't like to, but we have to now. Battle of Mount Gunbad. We're fighting Kraka Crooked. <laughs> I can tell by your lack of dental hygiene. Dear God. 
I better put you out of your misery. It's like a little messed up picket fence or something. Here we are. I have my formation all together. They're now ready to fight. I have my quarrelers in the middle. I have my artillery back here. I've got a few warriors held in reserve in case I need them for later on. Unfortunately, my reinforcements will be way over here. They are on the other side. Let's begin our battle right now. And hopefully we can win. We could begin to move up right away. It's really up to me. All right. Let's have all of you just begin to move up. Outside of my artillery, actually. Hold on. You two can just kind of go in like that. You'll be in your own group. But the rest of you, there we go. Okay, group number two. You guys are going to be in big trouble. You're all back here. Oh, man. I could have you charge in right now, and you might be okay. Hold on. What if I just had all of you charge in? It would be crazy and bloody, but I think it might work out. <laughs> Here's some artillery, too. It's a pretty big army. Coilers, go shoot at whoever you want to shoot at. Artillery. Let's have you go throw a few stones. They're trapped now. They're being caught on two sides. And because they're so durable, they won't last for very long. Let's move up. Right over here. Okay, all of you go into your own group. Group three. There we are. Lord Donar Gorgrund. Time for you to charge into battle now. Oh, man. They are taking them out already. Good work. They're fighting a savage battle from behind. And while they do that, I get to move in, too, with my main army. Either way, we'll win this battle. We've caught them on two sides, and they're just in big trouble. Okay, we'll move right over here. I want to use my quarrelers a bit. Artillery, you can do whatever you want. It's really up to you. You want to attack right there? You can. If you don't want to, hey, go for it. Hold fast. You're charging in, too. I need everyone over here to just kind of charge in and fight. He's in the middle of it. He's a madman. Look at him go. He doesn't care. We have a grudge to settle. He charges right into combat. Unafraid of the consequences right now. There goes all of my quarrelers now. We're going to move them, I think. We'll actually keep them right here. Thunderers, why don't you begin shooting over here? More grilling ironbreakers charge in too. You've taken some damage. That is okay. My main army is moving in now too. Let's move up more. We'll go attack them all. Don't worry about it. Look at this group. They're all bunched up, holding and waiting. Quarrelers are now attacking at various intervals, attacking more orcs. And we have a few who are now fleeing. I just want to manage my main army. And I think that will be sufficient. Let's go in now and fight. OK, Quarrelers, come over here and attack. You can take out all of their archers. It's a much better idea. Artillery, why don't you attack over here too? They're all grouped up. I mean, they're all bunched up in one location. So we can begin to hit them just like that. Lord Donar, you've gotten eight kills. I've got a lot of Corlys still back here. Still taking a lot of damage. That is okay. My Nord Grimling Ironbreakers now have 33 kills and they're accumulating more. We can hold over here too. We shall on the right flank. They will hold there and kill more of the orcs as they come at me. Thunderers, go shoot them too. And Corlys, why don't you keep attacking right where they're all bunched up? Get rid of that blasted chariot. I do not want that thing here any longer. Let's keep on looking. Here's all my warriors now. They're all going to charge in in just a moment. Let's have them go after different targets. Hold on. You'll come over here. You'll charge in too. Oh, they have chariots again. Go get them. You got it. Then come over here onto the left flank. They have more trying to flank me. Miners, I'll put you on the right flank, too. And before we do anything, let's just look at the battle right now as it is. The sheer size of it is immense in scope. We have thousands fighting on one battlefield. And so many are already dead. Okay, Thane, you've got 15 kills total. You're still holding. You're fighting a hug lug in the middle of the entire battlefield. Over here, Lord Donar has 10 kills. He's still holding, too. We have our Iron Breakers who are holding. Let's go hit these orcs that are trying to flank me. Let's get them right now. I'm shooting at so many of them and destroying them outright. Longbeards, why don't you move over here and fight? Artillery, you've gotten 79 kills. Keep on attacking. There's not a lot left. If you guys are fleeing, but it's really working out, though. 
it was going to be very bloody battle no matter what we did but I'm very glad to see that we're able to hit them at so many points and destroy them we're overwhelming them okay fell hand let's get you over here you can go chase more of them those are orc biggins I want them dead you can fight here if you want get rid of that information and group up yeah keep on killing them you got it my quarrelers can go after other targets hold on we're not done let's have you four hold up right over here miners charge in other miners, you too. Other fell hands, you as well. We're not done yet. Go chase a few night goblins. I mean, if they come back, I want them dead. Who is hitting me? Ah, uh, night goblin archers. Okay. Well, I get to shoot them now. And over here. They've got a great shaman, but let's go after the orc boys. Gold pick clan miners, you're heading into it. I've got more warriors over here who can charge in from behind. Let's go take out more of them. Maybe in the trees, too. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's go hit the orc biggins. When we hit their lines, they'll fall apart. The Norgrimling Ironbreakers have how many left? 96 left, and they've killed 64. They're throwing in more satchels, breaking up the goblins and orcs who are attacking them. They are not beleaguered. Not today and not yet. More warriors will come over here and fight. Come charge in. I've changed my mind. Just come over here and kill their archers. You got it. You two tiny groups can come over here and go after the orc arrow boys. And over here. Why don't you shoot more of these units that are trying to attack us? There you go. So we don't need slow motion anymore. I just want to make sure that everyone had their orders. It's a very large battle. Whenever you have a very large battle, you've got to manage every bit of it. I can't really underestimate them. I mean, they do have the numbers to do some big damage. Don't get me wrong. We're going to take some lumps right now. Come over here and fight. Let's go look again. We're not done. Why don't you charge in over here? And over here, Quarrelers, why don't you go after... Oh, yeah. How many kills do you have? 53. It's way too many. Go after the Chariots. And then you two go after the Rock Lobber crew. With all of your bolts, you can saturate them. Gruny did it. The Holdfast guy did it. Yeah, his name is rather true, right? Holdfast? <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's not just my name. I mean, it is, but there's more to it. Vengeance. Good work, my friends. We won the battle. We're now cleaning up. Warlords. Come over here and target these guys. Take out more of them. Good work. Charge in and kill more orcs. They're all beginning to flee now. Got a few to take out over here. Hold on, I'm gonna have my quarters come over here instead. Let's go after these guys who are on my right flank. Uh-oh, squigs are still alive. Now that I don't like. I right, come over here. Go shoot these Night Goblin Archers. They're still alive. They're hitting a lot of my units too. Go finish them off. And over here we have one. Thunder is 53 kills. Keep on shooting more of them. Lord Grimling Iron Breakers, you need to have 100 kills. You're about to have 100 kills. My leadership will go charge in too. We still have their own leaders. Yeah, let's go after their great shaman. If you're over here fighting, move in. And over here. Should give everyone a target. If there's a target to go after, you'll go after it. Okay, I'm shooting their own archers now. They won't be here for much longer. Let's go chase a few more of them. Warm up. Oh yeah, come over here and fight that orc war boss. He's now broken and routing. And through that entire large battle, we beat them. A close victory. So we're looking at a pretty big win. My garrison took some damage, but they're okay. My main army lost only 149. The entire point was to make sure that my main army was relatively undamaged. My hold can wait here and lick their own wounds. I need to move on, though. And we did not lose a lot. That battle over. So look at what we can do. Execute captives. Done. That's all over. Another grudge removed. Good. Armor gained. Enchanted shield. Crack a crooked. You're dead. Ha. Ah. Alright, man. I can keep you here for now. You're eating up my money. Let's move you out. Okay, Felhand, move in. You can heal up for a turn or two. I'm going to put a point into 
Wound maker. Blade master. Yeah. This warrior is one with his blade. Is It is an extension of his will, making him a worthy foe in combat. And then for Dane, at level 11, we'll put a point into blade shield. 74 melee defense now. Okay, Grom Brindle, time for you to head into combat. Let's go do it. How many times do I need to teach you a lesson, old man? How many times? The Battle of Arinka Hills is now happening. Three corpse cards, okay. You have Crypt Horrors, you have Zombies, four groups of them. Four groups of normal Graveguard, one with great weapons. For a total of five Graveguard groups, you've got a few regiments of renown, sure. And we have a lot of trees. I don't like trees. It's really not where I want to have trees. Okay, let's carefully place my grudge throwers so we can begin to advance towards them. I put one over here. Oh, that's right behind a tree. I'll move you right here. Maybe you'll be okay where you're at. I don't really need cover. I just need to be able to go attack them all. Let me find a better location for it. Over here looks pretty good. It's pretty open. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, you three will work together and attack all of the undead. From Brindle and Humphrey, you'll charge out. Dwarf Warriors, I think you will too, right behind them, yeah. You two will be over here on my left flank, just kind of waiting. Miners, you as well, do not use your satchels yet. Okay, Raiders, I'll put you over here. Rangers and long shots, you'll kind of be in the middle. Fire hammers, you'll be on the right flank. And Drakbeards, who have killed probably over 2,000 creatures by now. You can be over there. All right, let's go in. Let's move in right now. We'll go attack. We'll go take care of them. Whatever we need to do, we'll go do it. Yeah, come over here. Other ranged units come over here. You can just kind of hold up. Fire hammers come on in. It'll be kind of a messier battle than usual. Okay, drag beards move up. Left flank. Who am I not moving now? A miner's right. They'll move on to my left flank as well. Okay, Grom, go do it. Give him armor. Go after the knights. And now they're in trouble. Oh, man. They knocked him back. That's pretty cool of you. Okay, Raiders, all of you have throwing weapons. You can destroy them right now. It's all up to you. Let's begin to encase them. That's what I want to do. Backbeards, move over here. You're not done yet. Just keep on moving. Miners, what about you? You can keep on moving too. You've got satchels, so come on. My warriors can hold where they're at. What a bright and beautiful battlefield. I like it here. It's wonderful. Okay, artillery, why don't you go after a different target? I don't want you hitting our friends. Go back there and attack. That makes me feel a little bit better. Here's a new rune. We can deal more damage to them. My raiders are destroying everyone. Look at that. They're just melting away. Look, undead. I have fought you way too many times. You're way too easy for me now. Drakbeards, come over here and flank him. Or you can even go after the vampire. Hey, man, if you can melt her, I'm all down for it. We can flank him, or we can just kind of hold here and wait. We can charge in too. You know what? We can charge in a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go flank him a bit. But all the Grave Guard over here on my left flank, I'll let my drag beards take care of that. My miners will go in from behind. Okay, Raiders. How about you move over to the right flank? And then all my range units will go after. Let me go look at it. Go after a corpse guard. Okay, here, use all of your runes. Let's go look at it again. We have them heavily contained into one location. There's Krell. Krell's back. There's my Drakbeards melting that entire group. They're going to go away now. Okay, we could use our satchels, finally. Let's come over here from behind and begin to hit them. They'll be in range. Miners, I think you're good to go. Drakbeards, you are destroying them all. Grom's guard, you're getting some kills. A little bit worried about the friendly fire, so never mind. Quit attacking. Drakbeards come over here. And raiders move right in. Attack everyone. 
All right, where is Krell at? I'll go after whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Throw in a few satchels, and we can call it a day. Fire hammers have 114 kills. That's an incredible amount. We're blowing up everyone now. Everyone who's not a dwarf. The Dali reigns supreme today. Another win for our team. Artillery, I think you're done, though. I don't want any friendly fire. I think most of you are done. Yeah, be careful. What about you, Dragbeards? Are you done? Largely. Drum's guard is okay. Miners go head in from behind. You can kill them. They're all falling apart. Oh, hold on. No more of that. <laughs> no more of that. The battle's over. Come on, Kimmler. Go home. Quit attacking, all of you. Fire hammers, you too, buddy. Come on. All right, end battle. 123 lost. Our enemies lost over 1,700. Well, they lost every unit in their force now. That's a big part about when you try to come after me like that. Another large army destroyed. Didn't really take much or very long. Now that you're all dead, I'll probably chase you. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Get out of here. Goodbye, Eugene. A terrible undead name. Not a terrible name, just a terrible undead name. <laughs> okay, we're back in Varenka. We need to heal up. We're at level 30. Cool. We gained two levels. I'll put two points over here for my Iron Breakers, Hammers, Longbeards, and Slayers. Not a huge buff, but it'll do. I want my Flash Bomb. Alright, what about my capital? That would be 600 gold. That's a lot of gold, man. At tier 5, I can get my Throne Hall of the High King. I've been wanting to get that, too. That'll have to wait, though. Okay. I'll keep my gold where it's at. I need to get a engineer's workshop too. We can get a organ gun, iron drakes, and gyrocopters that have brimstone guns. And a master engineer. Master of Runecraft. I could get rid of a lot of your army, but yeah, I'll let you keep it for now. My I do want that gold. You two can go away for now. If I need you, I'll bring you back later. Okay. We can now end our turn. We have a few more grudges to handle. Let me go look at it. Let's see. Maybe one more. No, two more. Gotcha. I need to beat Ornery Backslider. Where is he at? Oh, he moved up north. Okay. There's another undead army led by Manfred. He'll be back. Jufbar, I will reclaim you one day. Do not fret. And now for my quest over here, I need to move one character to Krak Norn. I need to fight Norska. I need to recruit a runesmith. I'm trying to fight the Greenskins. I don't know how many locations they own. They have, what, one, two... Two for sure. Three, four, four total. Okay. Good. I'll be able to complete that quest as well. It'll take time for me to get out there to win. Okay. Lumber yard. Lumber yards are wholesale markets where wood is stored in great quantities before being shipped to its final customer. We'll wait to build that. Let's end our turn. I have over 7,000 gold coming in per turn, and that's with me having, what, three armies? Not three full stacks, but three armies still. Yeah, if I burn down the freaking Achendorf Crooked Moon go um, Goblins, another faction might rebuild that location and become more powerful for it. They could finally unite it. I could have some trade going on. I could hold it too, but I want the entire province, not just one location if I were to do that. All right, I had my drink. I was getting all tongue-tied. Yeah, they're coming down to fight me. I'll need Grombrindel or another army to help me out, but they won't be coming until later. Let's wait now. The Von Karsteins are fighting me again. Okay. Well, I want to keep my money up. We'll keep doing that. 
autonomy of the holds and now we can encourage more growth. Uh oh. You killed a few of my soldiers very well. Yeah, I think after we heal up, we'll go to Achendorf and burn it down. Okay, Doc Karaz, I need to make sure that you won't be attacked. 8,000 gold per turn. Not bad. Let's go over here. You can build your airfield. That would allow me to move a bit faster. My bombers would be good too. Wow. Okay, let's build over here a engineer's workshop. Dwarfin engineers are forever tinkering and refining their machines, doing so within their private workshops. That now belongs to me. We could get a Slayer Shrine. My Slayers would be pretty decent. I could build them in a different location, though. I don't really need them yet. I'm not fighting too many large creatures. Not yet. If that can wait, we can instead build my Hall of Oaths, and I feel like that's a better idea. When a king calls a war council, he requests his most capable warriors go to the Hall of Oaths. Yeah. I need one more turn for my gold. That's my public order. It's doing fine. Okay, at level 8, Iron Hand. I'm going to put a point for you into Forge Fire. Your guys could use more armor piercing damage. Here's your weapon. You can give nearby units more melee attack. Opal Amulet. The Opal Amulet can grant its wearer a life saving second chance, but suffers a hairline fracture and it's. Okay. Well, it won't actually break. It'll be okay. Here's a new rune. That's interesting. Archivist, if we want more research. I do. Let me go look at what I want to pick up now. We could have more armor. I could have better things. That would take me eight turns total. Okay. Renowned Dead Eyes. If I recruit new rangers, coilers, and thunderers, I want them to be better. So we'll do that too. Okay, Mount Gunbad, you'll be ready in four more turns and then we'll make a lot more money. We're still waiting. We haven't gotten our really good units quite yet. What should I give you? I could give you the Peak Gate Guard. It's really up to me. It'll be over 500 gold. I don't like spending that much gold. That can wait. Okay. I'll just keep it all where it's at. We can end our turn now. Karag Dromar by the freaking Von Karsteins. I'm going to go burn you down. Yeah, Grom might head through the middle then. We'll go burn down what belongs to the Von Karsteins. Belligar actually has a pretty good army. I'll just need to get a few confederations going if I want to expand more, but I want to reclaim our mountains up north. Jufbar is very important to me, so I want to go to that location for sure. Then is Karak Kadrin. I wonder if I need to take that to unlock Ungrim. I can go look at that later. Not that I'll use him. Greetings, Military Alliance. Again, that's cool and all, but I don't need it. You don't really need it either, though. We've got a good defensive alliance. Maybe later on we can do that. The Chaos Invasion isn't here yet, and a lot of factions like me already, so that's a really good sign. Later, when the invasion is here, then we can all unite and fight, too. The Winds of Pain. Or magic. Well, I don't need magic. Okay, build it. Then we can upgrade a few more things, like over here, my foundry. The lower deeps of the dwarf holds glow from the many war machines created in their foundries. Okay, so in four turns, I'll be able to recruit whatever I want, or most of what I want. I do like your long shots, but we could have a lot more gold. Anyway, let's look over here. Am I going to move you out yet? I kind of want to give you some new artillery. Like a cannon. You don't have a cannon yet. Slayers are cool, but I don't need them yet. We'll keep on waiting. What about you? Okay, Grom Brindle, we have a freaking Night Goblin army right by Barak Bar. We can't permit that. No way. Let's get over here. If I can attack him, I will. 
I'm out of gold right now. I only have two armies at the moment. Frog drone, you still can't build your watchtower. That will have to wait. Let's end our turn. Yeah, we're finally getting to where I want to be, to where I have a very powerful capital. Strategically, we're pretty safe right now. We've got allies all around us. We can just go in one direction. Well, two. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. I could try to get Belligar to go after them, maybe, but I'm not fighting them. So, no, I can't. Right. I can't give him a war target if I'm not at war with him, too. I just don't want him to burn down any of my towns. So I might wait for Belligar to go fight them. Then I'll go after Auchendorf. Either way, we can kind of float around and wait as I might recruit a few new units anyway. All here. I don't really want to have a new army until I can upgrade my current ones. I mean, later, if I can afford it, I will. With my Brightstone mine, I'll be able to make a lot happen. Not to mention, Mount Gunbad will be very easy to defend. I'll have two groups of Iron Breakers, and those guys do not break. They can break you, but they are not broken. You blasted undead. Okay, so he's right here. Let me go look at who's fighting them right now. Hold on. We're not done. The Empire loves me. Good. Crooked Moon, you hate me. And you're fighting Clan Angrund. Pretty cool. You're fighting only two factions. No wonder you're so powerful. Oh, I can actually see your land now. and You're touching over here. That's interesting. Would anyone like to trade? Can anyone trade? Yes. Don't tell me that. You nah, cannot. Nah. Okay, the gray beards are done for. They can't do much more. There's no point in me trying to confederate. I mean, they would fall apart. And who loves me a lot? Aye. Who would like to join me today? Wait. Do not disappoint me. Krakazul, you could join me. Yes. What about Clan Angren? They don't want to, but if I get Krakazul, I'll be pretty powerful. But if I do that, won't we have enemies nearby? Let me go look. Yeah, it would be over here. Well, why don't you go after them? And then later, if you fill up to it, we can do that. Yeah, go after their capital. Rock Zorn? What are you doing? You're fighting two factions, too. I can't really tell you where to go. No, I mean, I do want their lands, but I won't be able to keep every army they have. It'll be way too much gold. So right now, why don't they just go after a main foe, and then we can talk about it. That's cool to know. They're a powerful faction that would still like to join me. Or I could make them military allies and just call it a day. It's really up to me. I really don't want to confederate everywhere. I like the idea of having a few factions around doing their own thing. It just feels very appropriate. Okay, Humphred. Let's put a point over here into scouting. Again, I want you to get more loot. Okay, Grom Brindle. Come to Varenka. We'll take care of him. And over here, my capital. We need to make more money. Let's do it. That'll be tier 4. Here's my trading depot at tier 4. A guild marketplace for even more money. Everything that I build, I need to make more gold with. Oh man, Belligar, you're losing a lot. You need to take care of them. They're going after you. He won a battle. Yeah, I'll head back over to Achendorf. We've already fought some big fights. I mean, I just need to develop right now. I can see that wood elf tree over in the top left. Grace, I want to, I want to burn it down a little bit. I've got quite a few grudges to handle. Don't let them rest. An idle body is one ripe for corruption. We don't have too much of an issue with that. I mean, we do have Chaos Dwarves, but forget about them. Jared's Errantry Army. All right. We now have veterans whenever I recruit them. Let's go look over here. What could I use right now? More public order. Yeah, inherently, that would be great. Nine turns for that one. More income from my trade caravans. Dwarf holds tend to trade with each other via the underway, which keeps prying eyes out of Dawi business. 
Oh, indeed. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go look at what we have. We need, what, at least two more turns to get every military unit that I want to pick up. Cool. Let's keep spending money. All right, I would love to upgrade my capital before I upgrade anything else. I mean, growth here isn't very fast. It's unfortunate. But I could build fields or whatever I can build in these other locations. A Thane as a garrison, that's really good too. I like that. Okay, Silver Road, you could have more public order. I think you're okay. Red Peaks, what about you? Better walls. A reinforced gate. I mean, you have a pretty big garrison. You're about to have a bigger one in one more turn. Yeah, there's a reason why I'm not recruiting too much right now. But build your watchtower, build your lumber yard, and build your toolmaker's workshop. Now that we've done that, let's go upgrade our watch room into a guard hall at Dol Karaz. And now we can end our turn again. I'm still making over 8,000 gold per turn. I'm about to make over 9,000 gold per turn. Meligar is going after the Crooked Moon tribe. Did he finally win? I don't know. We'll see. That's your only army. I'll attack it now. That White King is level 30. Dear God, they've got to go. Here comes another undead army. Yeah, they're really beginning to gun for me, aren't they? They really have a thing for me. But because of their lack of underway, they can't get here quickly. They really can't. They're having such a hard time trying to manage me. Whenever they pop in, I'm like, okay, I know where you're at. Forget you. The Shagros Empire. I could wait for one more turn to fight them. They might move a bit closer. I mean, they did come down here for a reason. Okay, buddy. Let's go look at what you can pick up. Let's have a look then. I want you to have three groups of long beards. I could think about your group format later, though. You know what? We don't need you quite yet. I'm now making over 10,000 gold. And while I have my opportunity, we'll upgrade everything that I'm able to upgrade. Rinka, I need to upgrade you too. Let's go look over here. I could use better fields there as well. And down here, I could use more public order and dwarf beer. Yeah. We have two gold left. We're still very powerful. Can I go hit those undead though? I can. Elman Gorst is again back. Let's go get him. He's way too low of a level to fight me and win. But again, it's great training. I mean, I have so many veterans in my army. It's a rather unconventional force too, but they do so well. They perform so well. I'll just charge out and go fight them. They do have two groups of knights. I'll need a few units back here to help me out. But we can advance again at the Battle of Achendorf. Okay, everyone, let's get ready. Artillery, you'll be back here. Hitting everything. I want my miners to be back here too. We don't really need them to advance. Just kind of wait in the middle. Here, I'll leave one of you on that right hill, one of you on the left hill, and then one of you in the middle. You're a little bit lower, but I think you'll be okay. You group up. Dwarf warriors, I want you in the middle holding here. Other warriors, left flank, you can wait there. Raiders, I want you in the middle, just kind of waiting. And all of my other range units will be in the middle too. That should do it. Fire hammers, I want you on the right flank. Actually, you know what? Miners move over to the right flank too. From Brendel and Humphrey. You'll charge through the middle. Drag beards will put you on the right flank. You can wait. And now we're ready. Go out and charge. Go out and kill. All, right, all of my infantry, I need to move all of you together. Much like that. Well, my range units do not need to move like that. Hold on. Put them in their own group. The rest of you can move up, though. Here comes a few knights. Okay, fire hammers. Go after. Let me go find them. Go after those black knights real quick. We'll take care of them. Go fight the Graveguard. 
Humphrey to go into the middle. All right, Quarrelers, come over here. I would love for you to go after other targets, but I don't believe you can right now. You'll have to wait. Jackbeards, come over here onto the right flank. Miners, you can throw in your satchels if you want to. It's really your business right now. All right, you know what? Come over here. Firehammers, go in. Here they come. Let's go shoot them. Warm up. Warm up. And Firehammers, come over here. Here comes some more of them. Let's go over to the left flank now. Try to hold. Oh, yeah, they're on their way. Let's go get them. All right, while we fight, let's charge in. Everyone today can charge in. Oh, there's a little bit of friendly fire. We need to watch out for that. That's a huge mess. Go over here after the Black Knights. They're all charging at me, but we're hitting them really hard. Drakbeards, you can go kill some zombies if you want. Raiders, you can kill a few Graveguard. It's really up to you, I guess. Okay, before we use our runes, let's wait for more units to get into the battle. Did it impact them too? Cool, it did. Now they're heavily armored. Those knights are dead. Artillery, I think you're done now. Oh, that really was a bad position. I thought it would be okay. I thought it would arc high enough. That's okay though. I'm just gonna form up over here if you want. If you wanna help me, go form up over there. Here they come now. They managed to hit my long shots. They didn't fall apart right away. It's okay though, we still won. Jack periods are killing more zombies. Warriors come over here and help fight. They have me surrounded. Let's go get them. Okay, Raiders. Let's move you guys up too. The zombies are largely gone. Let's come over here, Drag Beards. You can go kill a lot more of them. How about the knights? The knights are probably all gone. Oh, here they are. Hold on. One more group to go after. Let's get them. How's that necromancy working out for you, huh? Look at that gigantic blob of undead. Drag Beards will go take care of it, though. It's all good. Okay, Raiders, come on to... Actually, go after that corpse cart. You can destroy that. You can debuff it. Alright. Other ranged units come over here. Fire hammers come over here and attack. Dwarf Warriors come over here to my left flank, too. And I think that'll do it. We'll lose a few guys, but... It's one corpse cart gone. Use your runes again. Do more damage. My drag beard's in position. We can melt everyone. Let's do it. Go into guard mode. Raiders come over here onto my right flank. You can kill more of them. There's a few grave guard left over here. Oh, actually, there's 51 left. Go kill them. I've changed my mind. Do you have any runes? You do. A rune of negation. The secret of this powerful rune is given to a rune lord by Valaya herself, insulating all under its auspices protection from magic. And now the Iron Drakes are melting away more undead, as they always do. Go Fire Hammers, man. Go Fire Hammers. You got it. We don't need to do that. We don't need to flank them like that. Let's come over here, other ranged units. Come on. We've killed the Grave Guard. Come over here, too. They're all about to fall apart. I've got a few Dwarf Warriors who took a lot of damage, but the fact that they can hold up against so many enemies is a really good sign. That means they're very powerful. 53 melee defense is nothing to really sneeze at. Okay, fire hammers, you're nearly out of ammo. Not a lot of kills. Man, you're all healing up. Good for you. Alright, why don't you go after... Do they have any graveguard left? Go after Gorst. I'm sure you can target him, right? Alright, Drag Beard, over 200 kills. Great work. Our range units are still moving. Move back, warriors. Oh man, you actually hit him? I wonder if you're out of ammo. I was wondering. Alright, we can use more runes again. I can't believe Kimmler's still going. Or is it Gorst? Right, Gorst. My bad. Whatever, man. Alright, now they're all done for. Drag Beards, you're done. Stop. You've killed 237. You've done your part. Range units, you're done too. Quit attacking. Oh my god, all that firepower in one location. So we lost over 100. They lost over 2,200. Again, the undead are just kind of a pest for me now.
no matter what they build, they can't overwhelm me. I mean, I'm down here. If I move up north, it might be tougher. We can finally retaliate and go on the offensive. We've been holding defensively for so long, fighting battle after battle. But it has worked out. I mean, I've been able to push forward and attack with my very cheap army. I like to keep my cheap army. I might keep the one for Grumbindle. I'll price about a few things. Yeah, kill them all. Good work. A gleaming pennant. That's a pretty good one, too. We should call it here. When we're back, we'll get more done. If you have any lore ideas for a type of army, let me know down below. I look forward to even more content tomorrow. And as always, until then.